Hey guys, so welcome, welcome back to Daggeropa V3, the ultimate talent development plan. Let's carry on developing these students. We've got our next one lined up. It is the ultimate detective. One of them, anyway. It's Shuichi Saihara. He's going to undertake the next normal course. Going to try and develop those detective skills. We are trying to give him a character arc after all, just like Tsumugi did. I'm the ultimate. I'm just an apprentice detective who happened to solve a case. Yeah, well... Too bad, so sad. You're here at the Ultimate Academy. Actually, no, you're at Hope's Peak Academy. The Ultimate Academy is fictional. All right, let's move. Come on. Straight to a friendly square. It's always a good start. Can't wait to get you on the uh, in the party hmm. for attacking the next couple of levels in the dungeon. Huh? Hajime. I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah. I got a neat gift from my friend just now. And then we got caught up talking. I'm... I'm on my way back to the reserve course now. If I'm late, Usami won't let me back in. <laughs> Usami's looking after the reserve course students, is she? Oh, interesting, interesting. When you get something you really like, it makes you want to spend more time with that person. You're right. That's true. I'm always giving gifts. So maybe I was a little too eager to receive one this time. Ah! Oh. Uh, I'm also usually giving presents rather than receiving them. It's fun, isn't it? Thinking about the person being happy? You're right. I mean, or you could just forgo it all together like I do. I just, I can't deal with presents. I can't, like, think of what prisons people would like, so I avoid giving them prisons, and then on the basis of that, I try not to expect any prisons in return. It's easier that way for me, anyway. Then I just realized these guys with their ahogues, honestly. Seeing their face when you give them something they really like makes you happy, too. Well, yeah. But sometimes they react poorly. That's... Yeah, it can make you feel pretty bad. But... Sometimes when that happens, I think about it later and wonder why I even gave them that. <laughs> but you're always so confident when you hand it to them. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you hope a lot. <laughs> you just hope that they like it. When someone gives me a gift, I get shy when I think about why they've given it to me. But when I see that look of sincere generosity on their face, I can't help but feel happy. You're right. Seeing a face like that can make you happy all on its own. Hmm. Ugh, I'm getting embarrassed thinking about the face I make when I receive a present. Well, yeah. Now that I think about it, I should probably get my friend something in return. What is it? A game console? Perhaps. A new controller? New keyboard? Mouse? Graphics card? I don't know. Is Jackie a PC gamer or is she just a uh, console only? I don't know. Level 4. I've been trying to read up on the little tips and tricks as we go, but uh, honestly, it's kind of just sailed over my head. <laughs> So we'll see once we if we get stuck in the dungeon, then I'll start like really grinding it out and making sure hey. everyone's got like the skills they need to get past the bosses. But for now, I think we're skating by okay. It's just yeah, we'll see how that boss goes. We've got Shuichi here as an intelligent student, so uh, we'll get him cure condition and whatnot, and hopefully that uh, helps us out. Oh, Kyogo, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? What is it? If I remember correctly, you were a detective before you even entered high school. Correct. She was a born detective, Shuichi. She can even hear death's footsteps, alright? That's pretty intense. Indeed. Yes. It's been years since I first entered this line of work. Huh? It's been that long? I thought I was young to start working as a detective. You're incredible, Kyoko. Hmm. I feel kind of bad now. I mean, you've only solved one case and you've been designated the ultimate detective. So yeah, it's kind of not really... You're not on an even playing field with Kyoko here. I feel like she's a lot more, uh, experienced. An apprentice like me doesn't deserve to share the title of Ultimate Detective with you. I mean, Ultimate kind of implies that there's one, right? But, uh, you know. However... I'm sure this is an equal opportunity, uh, school life here. But you're here because Hope's Peak Academy recognizes your accomplishments, yes? That's... I uh, don't know about that. I just solved a case by chance. At the very least... Be that as it may, you still grabbed hold of the truth and solved the case, didn't you? No one, not even you, can deny that outcome. You... Others accept that you are a detective, and I've also come to rely on you, too. The other day, I saw you running all over the place with Ryoma and Peko. No doubt because they needed your insights as a detective, right? Why did they need my <laughs> insights as a detective? Okay. Surprise, Peko's siding with me, seeing as she's the assistant to the ultimate Yakuza. Uh, I was just looking for a missing cat around the academy. 
I've handled plenty of missing pet cases before, so I was able to help, but... Listen. Do you think it's meaningless for people to rely on you? No, that's wrong. Oh, he said it. It makes me so happy to be helpful. So then... Then I see no reason for you to compare yourself to me. Every detective is shaped by their motives, methodologies, and case histories. I... That's why I believe I should always seek out the truth. By adhering to your methodology, you've earned accomplishments as a detective, haven't you? You're right. That's true. I'll never forget that, Kyoko. Sorry. I apologize for having such a negative attitude earlier. Thank you for encouraging me. Aww. Kyoko, helping out a fellow ultimate detective. How kind. Today is the sports festival. All of the events so far were really exciting, but despair searching is playing, so we're clearly investigating something. But apparently Monokuma got in everyone's way during the events. Before the afternoon events start, let's find Monokuma and catch him. What? Punish him? I should corner him as quickly as possible. I'll gather witness testimonies. Someone might have a clue. One person. Hey! Mahiro, you've been taking a lot of pictures today. Have you seen Monokuma? Jeez! <laughs> that jeez, honestly. Oh, he kept getting in everyone's way, so he ended up in a bunch of my shots. This is a digital camera, so I can show you right now if it'll help catch Monokuma. Okay. That would really help. Thank you, Mahiro. You better do your best. You better catch him soon so he doesn't get in anyone else's way. I have a feeling if Kyoko asked, she would be a lot more polite. You traced Monokuma's footsteps with the pictures and caught Monokuma. Hooray? So what do we do? Just give him a little earth sign spanking or tell him off? Put him in prison? Lock him up? Six, two, three, four, five, six, four. I haven't really run into anyone yet, which is unfortunate. I could really use some cars right now. Let's do a large move. Not willing to risk uh, getting trapped on that despair square. Wow, we're gonna get all the friendly squares done. Basically in the first year. Shuichi's not messing around. Shuichi! Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, bro. You're not heading home? Ah, oh. uh, Kaito. What's the matter? Why are you looking so down now? I thought you'd be looking better than when you first got to this academy. Uh... Well, you know, being your sidekick, it's very stressful, tough work. Hey! If there's something going on, then spit it out. It's a hero's job to help out his sidekick. No. It's nothing. I just... I feel as though I haven't used my detective skills lately. We just caught Monokuma, okay? God knows what we did to him, but we caught him, right? Huh? Your detective skills? You mean you haven't taken any cases lately? Hmm. Um, I was always helping out at my uncle's detective office, but since I've been here, I feel like... I should be doing something. I got my ultimate talent by chance, so... Hey, you did also find the cat. You did find the cat, right? I mean... Oh, you're talking about that? That's simple. You just gotta move your body. Uh... Uh... Um... We do a lot of training already, though, don't we? Listen up. That's not what I mean. I mean, put it into action. Detective work is always useful. Isn't that right, bro? That's... But a detective can't work unless there's a case to solve or a request to fulfill. Fulfill. <laughs> Like, what am I supposed to just detect random things? Dumbass. No, your talents are more than just that. Huh? Hey, so... Hey, Shuichi, I'm an astronaut. Do you think I'm useless when I'm not in space? No, that's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you're not useless. You have good teamwork, and you always help people in need. Everyone really depends on you, Kaito. Hey! And then what about detectives? Are they useless without cases or requests? I mean, how is Kaito supposed to develop his astronaut talent here in the school, you know? Like, sure, he could all do all these simulations and whatnot, but that's not, like, the practical thing. They need to basically launch him into space if he's going to get his studies done. <laughs> that's... well... All right! So I'll be the hero, and you be my sidekick. Huh? Isn't that what we've been doing? Listen up. And when someone's in trouble, you help him out. Like, by giving him advice, or... Something. It might be different from your usual detective work, but instead of running away like that, they'll make you feel alive by helping out those around us. But what are you planning, Kaito? Of course! A hero's most important job is to be the hero! <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Leave it to me! When you need a hero's help, just call. I'll help you with anything you can't handle alone. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'll try. 
Got it. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking better already. I swear, Kaiser should be the ultimate politician. He's great at just speaking and talking and giving speeches that ultimately are empty. <laughs> uh, let's go for small moves here so we can get some talent fragments. One, two. Oh, and we ran into Mukuro. Double move card. Let's go for blue. Because we already got green. Nice. The cubs. Double square. Nice. I like it. Oh. Um, large move. Let's avoid landing on just the goal. Hero, my friend. You're not going to overcharge me with some predicting services, are you? Goodbye card. Yep. I can imagine everyone running away is at the sight of you. Um, large move. Four. Jeez. Friendly square again. I like it. Soon we'll be able to just focus on leveling up and getting talent fragments. Shuichi, please accept my sincerest gratitude. Though I do apologize for troubling the ultimate detective to help me locate this. No. Uh, it's no trouble. I'm pretty good at things like this. I'm glad we found it. Please, feel free to ask me for anything. <laughs> you are too kind, Shuichi. Perhaps I can confide in you after all. Do you have a minute? I shall tell you all about the most famous unsolved case in the Nova Selich Kingdom. Huh? Uh, this conversation took an awfully serious turn. Please listen! It is known in Nova Selich as the case of the missing Makangos. Sorry. Uh, sorry, the, the what? Oh my! A creature native to Nova Selich that multiplies when frightened. Are you not familiar with it? Um, uh, no, I'm the ultimate detective, not the ultimate cultured man uh, slash social um... studies uh, student. Uh, an animal. The first incident in this case occurred when a prominent noble lost their prized Makango. Hmm. I see. Losing a pet that's precious to you is hard. You are right. Indeed. And his troubles did not end with his missing Makango. In Nova Selich, couples must show their Makangos to one another in order to be wed. Okay. For this noble, he had a betrothed, a betrothed whom he intended to marry, but... Could it be... Things fell apart? because his Makango went missing. Which means... Yes. In time, other women began to pursue him for his wealth, causing no end of drama. Soon after, other nobles and socialites began to report their Makangos missing as well. The entire country went mad as betrothed lovers watched their courtships be torn apart. That's... That's terrible. I suppose you haven't found that Makango yet. Um... No. Most likely... The poor Makangos have been sold in the black market or enslaved. Huh? Enslaved. However... Whether the culprits sought to own rare Makangos or cause discord between lovers, I cannot say. Well, thankfully, you're pretty much in love with Gundam right now. If you take him back to your kingdom and he becomes a prince, maybe he'll be able to help find the Makangos? Given the number of incidents, the investigation thus far has not produced any solid leads. That's true. The scale of this case is huge. There could be copycat criminals at work. Uh, the Makango disappearances ended as quickly as they began. Yet the case remains unsolved. Hmm. It must have been a difficult case. Hard on everyone involved. That is right! So you do understand the hardship this case has inflicted upon my people. I thank you with all my heart for listening to my sudden tale of woe. Do you have a minute? Truly, you are sweeter than any millennial confection. I was right to trust you. I just, you know, listened and said some stuff every now and then, and turns out I've got your uh, attention and endorsement. As the princess of Nova Selich, I request that you solve this case and lift my people's anguish. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure I can produce results, but... Leave it to me. I've come this far. So, if you're all right with this case in my hands... I shall praise you. You have my gratitude. In return, I hereby grant you an open invitation to the Nova Selich Kingdom. Hmm. This conversation really did take a turn. Fright. Well, Shuichi, international man of mystery. Heading to Nova Selich for an investigation. There you go. You were complaining to Kaido about not being able to handle some cases. Appears we've found some. Two, three, four... 
Oh, sorry, Kokichi. Not running into you this time. Naito's over there. Another friendly square. Yep, I think we've got them all done basically in the first year. Shuichi. Do you have a minute? Huh? Sure, what's wrong? You know? Well, I'm gonna be performing a piano recital at a pretty big hall next month. So, if you don't mind, may I give this to you? Hmm. A ticket? Yeah. I'd be happy if you came. Uh. Oh, but if you're too busy, you don't have to go out of your way to see it. No. I'll definitely go. I want to see you. Of course you do. Huh? S -s see me? Not my piano performance? Uh, um... Yeah, I want to see you play the piano. Did I say something strange? I see. Oh, that's what you meant. Right? Don't worry about it. Feel free to come watch me perform. Okay. This will be my first classical concert. I'm so excited to see your performance. Ah. Uh, what should I wear? My school uniform? You know, I feel like if this happened to a detective, there will be a murder happening at this at this recital, and then he'd have to solve it while he's there, you know? Like, I feel like detectives in fiction never can catch a break in terms of just recreation. There's always something going on. That's right. That's totally fine. You'll be sitting down for a while, so you should wear comfortable clothes. Feel free to ask me anything. I know it's a bit nerve-wracking since it's your first time, but being in the audience, I'm, I'm sure I'll be okay not being nervous. I think you're the one who's going to be a bit nervous. Then... Okay. I might have some more questions for you after school tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Just ask me anything. Okay. I will. Thank you. Uh, I forgot to thank you. Thank you for inviting me, Kaede. <laughs> no problem. I hope you enjoy yourself. I have a lot of songs that I want you to hear, Shuichi. Oh. Cute. Cubs again. What do you want? A one move card? All right. February. Let's go small move. Three. Two. Three. Correcio. Push change card. Uh, okay. Now. I don't really want to run into these despair squares. The odds are against me, so... Hmm. Still a small move. No, a large move. Five. Cool. Literally ran right in between these two. Okay. Well, could be worse, I guess. <sighs> Just gotta deal with the despair. Oh shit. Listen to the explanation back. So. Ah. Yes. Learn a new skill, please. That's what I was trying to do. Uh. I want to make sure I get. Where is it? It's, it's a variety skill. Okay, so I actually need some greens. Okay, alright. First exam, gotcha. Um, regular attacks is fine, I think. Kyoko's on our team. So it's Kaede, of course. Good. Cool. Wow, Shuichi with a critical hit. Not here to muck around. Alright, give me my talent fragments, Cubs. And let me move on to the second year. Cool. Alright, level 19. We're kind of falling a bit behind, though. So we're staying on the normal course. Depending on how well we do, if we do really well, I'll move on to the talent course after this. But for now... Um, let's do a double school, double move. Actually, you know what? Let's save that for later. One, jeez, oh, another friendly square. My goodness me! All right, all good. Yep, we actually did all the friendly events in the first year. Amazing. Okay, cool. Now I can avoid them, or you know, move past them safely without sweating so much. Sorry, Ryoma. In a hurry. I'd really like to get to those double... Double squares. Two, three, four. Good. Um... Okay, card. Let's do double square. Let's do a one move. 
Great. Okay, now I wanna... I'm actually gonna do a double move. And we'll go large move. That allows me to safely get over this. Oh. Once we reach the goal, maybe I'll do a... Uh, I'll do a course change. Damn, running on the goal. Okay. Sucks, it's like a waste, isn't it? Getting that. Uh, course change. Please. Another friendly square. Oh, friendly of the game. Yeah, we can get some talent fragments at the very least. Kazuichi! Soda! I feel like I haven't run into you for a while. Uh, let's go green. Oh my gosh, I'm in the final dead room! <laughs> Today is the school festival. This classroom is doing an escape room. Let's work together to escape. Now, what to do? Wowza. This is crazy. Uh, the floor and walls are suspicious because they are. That's where the numbers are. Gosh. That's true. The hint is written in blood. Uh, it's fake blood, I suppose. Are you okay? Toko, you look pale. Are you okay? It's fake blood. Please don't faint. Collapse. <laughs> th th there's no way I'm okay. I can't handle blood or gore at all. No. I don't see any gore, though. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I know it's fake, but I feel sick from these cheap visual effects. Uh, I'm telling you! Uh, I bet you like these inferior attractions, don't you? Well, hurry up and do something. Uh, uh, Toko, um... why are you even here? You worked hard to solve the mystery without Toko's help. Yeah, thanks. Toko, I thought it was my class doing the escape room. You're not in my class. Jeez. Alright, where are we going now? Got a one move and a goodbye card. Okay, doesn't really help me out too much. Makoto Nayegi. One move card. Uh, let's go blue. Cool. A lot of blues. I'm scared to get a surgery. I just don't want a surgery right now. Because I don't have a freaking... Um, whatchamacallit. I don't have a success card. Should we do a large move? Yeah, might as well. Okay. I am still trying to level up. Let's use these cards. Use them or lose them. Red. Don't know why I chose red. Probably shouldn't have. Probably should have gone green. One move card. This time we'll go for green. Awesome. Learn new skill, yes please. Uh, I think I just need the one. Focus cost decreases with each level, you know. If I give him absorb focus, then that's okay as well. Cool. I don't want to do like crazy ice damage. Bit of a strange setup, but, you know, we'll experiment with it. We'll see how we do when we land in the dungeon. Ice Freeze on the Gather. Ujin Cut, the Hermit. Ice Freeze the Gather. Attack the Hermit. Ouch, 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 ouch. Tell me that does a lot of damage. Good. Ninety-four is nothing to sneeze at. Critical. Oh, I was gonna say critical hit. Nope. Regular attack. Regular attack. Electric paralyze all. Regular attack. Goodness me. It's 
survived a lot. One damage, of course. Kyoko's down. Damn, Hermit. Go down already. Hermit, awaken, attack the Hermit. Shuichi's down. Kaede, angry that her BFF or BF got knocked down. Kaito missing again. Clearly needs more training. Luminary of the Stars. Holy shit, I'm actually gonna lose this? Wow! What's going on? I'm actually gonna lose. Holy shit. I can't believe we failed the second exam. Guys, what the hell's going on? That's terrible. We had that in the bag. I am upset. <laughs> what? That was terrible! Goodness me, maybe we need to focus on our studies this year, huh? Gosh. Wow, I'm frustrated. All those misses? Where did that come from? He came to the dining hall. Let's try today's special soup. You begin to feel your body fill up with raw power. What was in that soup? Victory. Because... These guys have no idea what victory tastes like. A straight card. Thanks. God. Misses. Three misses. What is this, XCOM? God. Um, give me some talents. Okay, good. That is upsetting. I'm not going to get over that. Zero move, goodbye card, straight card. I jump card. Shall I use it? Cool. I'll take it. Um, zero move. Unfortunately, at this rate, I don't think Shuichi's gonna make it to the uh, starting lineup next time. But actually, I might need to because he's got cure condition. Three, four, five. Tinko, my friend. Double move. Friendly square. I suppose friendly squares do give us like boosts to our other stats. Okay. Two. Okay. Good. Might as well like get my ice freeze boosted way up. Double move. Large. Because there's no double squares around here, so we might as well just advance as far as we can. Good. Shot way past the goal. Almost Christmas. Goodbye, straight card. Sorry, Kogichi. Taro. Attributes increased. Your last winner at the Academy. Today is the closing ceremony and you're up early. Thinking about only having a short time left at this Academy makes you sad. And from that comes restlessness. What will you do? I don't know. What will we do? It's early. I'll go to the classroom. I should take a walk around the dorm. Exercise is perfect at a time like this. Do some training oh. with our Kaito Momota, Luminaire of the Stars. Oh, hey there, bro. Are you training too? Okay. Yeah. It's good to sweat some things out. Yeah. Right on. That's a spurt. It's all thanks to your training with me. You're right. You befriended me and encouraged me and gave me advice. You've helped me so much, Kaito. Come on, man. Hey, hey. What's all that about? Don't dampen the mood, bro. Sorry. <sighs> I was just thinking about what we've built over the years. If I ever find myself in trouble, I can look back at my time with you for inspiration, Kaito. Hey! That's true, but graduation won't be the end for us. Listen up. Even if things get tough in the future... Okay. Don't bear it all by yourself, right? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, well, if you get it, then it's all good. Shuichi! When things are bad, me, Maki Roll, or Kaede will help you carry your burdens. As long as you understand that, you can get stronger. Thank you. The same goes for you, Kaito. If there's anything I can help you with, just say so. Huh. Now we're talking. Of course you'd help me. I'm the hero, and you're my sidekick. All right. All right, then. Want to run for a while? Better hurry, or you'll be eating my dust. Let me guess, you're Kaito. just going to briskly walk, and I'm going to be the one doing the sprinting around here. Uh, hey, no fear, Kaito. We're going to have a good sweat. You chased Kaito all the way to homeroom. Oh, nice. I feel like Kaito, Shuichi, and Maki are like the um, Sakakura, um, Kiyosuke, and Chisa, Yukizome. Oh, that class, right? Okay, where are we going? It's January, so let's go large move. Two, three, not because it's January, but we're gonna run into another friendly square. Oh my gosh. Monarchid! Okay, we've got a huge amount of attributes. Okay, I'm just gonna use the straight card here. Um, and I might as well just roll a small move. Nope, didn't get to any of these guys. I was kind of hoping I'd run into Izuru. You can't find the motivation to do anything. Play with the clacker. Clack, 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 clack. The steady clacking sound seeps into your weary heart. Your mind goes blank. You start to feel like nothing matters. Strength increased. Thanks. Okay, a card that's useless to me. Thanks. Too kind. The kind cubs. Alright, learn some new skills. Not that it really matters too much. I mean, I've got strength, but obviously he's kind of weak. In terms of his strength, so... Doing those physical attacks probably not going to help out too much. Ice freeze. Uh, no, I just want to do a normal attack, please. Ice freeze. Attack. Freeze, please. Good. Ouch. Shuichi's got quite a bit of health. Nine damage. Fortunately, uh, Kyoko's Ice Freeze isn't exactly as powerful. Good. And it's just gonna end there because we're not gonna be able to pass the second exam. Nine damage. I mean, we couldn't even pass the freaking second year one, so... What do you want me to do? Done. Alright. Yes, we won. Hooray. Okay, some extra fragments. Always nice. Fight. Skill. Ice freeze. Floor mono dragon. Attack. Floor mono dragon. Skill. Ice freeze. Floor Mono Dragon skill. Uh, Shuichi. Okay, never mind. Kaede is completely destroyed. Shuichi barely surviving. Shuichi was given apathy. <laughs> oh, great. One damage. All right. Lost Awakening. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. As expected. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, kind of mediocre year for Shuichi because we couldn't get things done in the second year. Didn't even have enough fragments to improve that. We got a bunch of strength fragments even though I don't need them. <laughs> like, seriously? What do I do with them? Might as well invest them somewhere. 
<laughs> There's nothing really to invest in it. Ultra defense? Sure. Shuichi can be a quite, like, the more defensive guy. Maybe I should have done... Nah, that's fine. I don't think this would have helped much. Alright. Shuichi, we're done here. Development complete. Rising! Thank you, cubs. Could have been better. Where's the surgeries, I... man? After coming to this academy and meeting everyone, I feel like a real detective. And if I ever get discouraged, I know it will be okay. And thus, Shuichi Saihara graduated from Hope's Peak Academy, promptly moved to Nova Selic to solve that problem for Sonya. So she, so he can become a prince there, probably, and just take over the whole entire country. Nice. Well done, Shuichi. Very good. Don't